Hey guys, so um, yeah, last uh, reading in this room, and then I'm gonna get packing this room, <laughs> and that's that. Uh, yeah, by the time you watch this, probably I'll be out of here. Do not get used to the next place, because it's not gonna be, it's just gonna be a temporary place. Should have stayed here for longer, but um, things happened. So I'm gonna move for a little while to a temporary place. Which, you know, the, the big move is going to happen uh, probably well, well after you watch this video of everything. But the temporary move, which is not all of my stuff. Um, my stuff is going to go to my permanent place, but um, I'm going to have to be somewhere else for, for a while, for a couple of months. So just don't get used to, to things staying that way because they won't. Um, Felix is trying to, I kind of took up his shelf, the one that he's sitting on usually, so I took it up with uh, things, I put some things on there, and he's kind of trying to force his way in there, having a, a little bit of a hard time, but he found a box, apparently, uh, that he can sit on, so hopefully he'll come here eventually. For now, they're just kind of playing with each other. Oscar and Felix. Yeah, uh, so a little bit nostalgic, I gotta admit, about this being the the last uh, reading in this room. Um, but it is what it is. When you have to let go, you have to let go. It sucks. Nobody said it's easy. Well, it's not that hard, to be honest with you, but it's it's nostalgic, I gotta say. It's a little like, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Let's do the current energies check-in, and I'll go through each sign individually by elements, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. Uh, Timestamps will be below. They will not work during the premiere of this video. They, I mean, they'll work, but they won't work properly. And people will come back and say, this sucks, it doesn't work. Y yes, I know, because this is exactly why I'm telling you this. Uh, so they'll they'll work after the video is done premiering. Um, I will be looking into your energy in regards to a situation or a person. Uh, doesn't have to be a person. So try your best not to get stuck in that hole. I don't have anybody. Because um, you do have a situation for sure going on. Um, and where you're at in regards to that, where they're at in regards to you, where the connection is at, connected energy between the two of you, you and your situation or your person. And um, then I'll pull... Um, couple of cards from the universe for each of you. Um, roles can always be reversed because this is a general reading. So when I'm referring to you, I could be talking about them and vice versa. Um, what else is there? There will be no clarification for the Friday videos. I never do clarification. Um, there's plenty of that during the weekly, monthly, so on and so forth. Um, what do you want? You're kind of looking in this direction. He's checking this table out. He's coming? No, he's going underneath to wreck something else. Okay. Um, what else is there about the reading? Nothing about the reading, I think. I think we're good to go. Thank you, all of you, uh, for everything that you're doing to contribute to this. Um, this week I got especially moved by a lot of uh, things that I've gotten. A uh, written, handwritten letter, which kind of... Um, I got to see a lot of things in there, like the way they wrote it and everything about it. The smell of it, because it had some uh, incense sticks attached to it. and. It's like it woke up all of my senses and then somebody sent me a uh, email with a um, audio note, which was beautiful. Um, it's different when you have all of your senses kind of activated in that kind of uh, regard there and listening to, to you guys and uh, reading about your stories and all of that. It's, it's beautiful. So thank you.
thank you all for for being here for watching this for putting up with uh my directness <laughs> which i know sucks at times um but it is what it is um and i think that's it i think we're good to go uh let's get it started capricorn I close the door on him so that he doesn't go out of this room. Hopefully, he'll come out here. Because, uh, you know, it's the last reading. He has to show up. But he feels a little bit um, trapped here. Like, where's my freedom at? Uh, it's outside that door, but it's going to happen in about an hour. So he's kind of exploring. And he's keeping this other guy up. Because he wants to chase him and be like, where are you going? What's there? What's in that corner? What's in that corner? Ah, uh, animals. My baby boys. What is up in here, Cappy? I leave you alone for two seconds, I swear to God. What's up? What's going on here? <laughs> um, five of Wands. Seven of Swords, King of Wands. All right, so there's there's some sort of conflict around you. At this time, I feel like the way it's handled, eh, you want to get out of it. You want to be like, oh, fuck this whole crap. And um, the way you want to get out of it is not necessarily by discussing it, by going through it, by seeing what's up, how can it be resolved, and things like that. Um, you kind of just want to be like, I'll just remove myself. You stay there. Conflict. You know, kind of thing. It's not necessarily proper, but... And I feel like you have the help of somebody here. Um, this King of Wands character, whoever this is to you. Uh, kind of supporting you through all of this. But uh, again, the way you're trying to get yourself removed, it's really up to you how you want to do it. It just seems like it's it, it could be handled in a different way. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, for whoever is dealing with you here, the Knight of Wands, the Temperance card, and the Six of Cups, totally different energy. Very passionate, very... There's a lot of growth in this. There's a lot of patience, a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm here in peace. I don't want to hurt you kind of deal. This person is definitely connected to you. There's a soul connection here between the two of you, and this person is approaching you in a very beautiful energy, very passionate, but at the same time, very practical, you know. Um, for the connection, Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, Ace of Cups. Uh, there's love here in this situation, but right now there's also pain. Um, and it's like a new beginning can actually happen here. But I feel like if the pain is not addressed or is not properly seen and recognized, then this might not happen at this time. There's definitely love. I see that. Because of the pain, there's no breaking through this conflict or whatever is happening here. Um, there's just something that needs to be taken care of here, because if not... It's just going to linger. I don't see it causing long-term damage, but it's going to linger for a while. Let me see what the universe has for you. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords. See, there's willingness to work on whatever it is that's happening here, but there's also a lot of overthinking about things. Instead of action just being taken to work on things, this is blocking this action, pretty much. And this is overthinking. This is, I want to do this like this. Um, and then you start with that, and then you create thousands of thoughts around it, how to do it, when to do it, why to do it. Ooh. And um, I don't see the action right now because there's too much thinking, too much talking, too much not doing. So, 
And that's it, Cappy. Thank you for joining and thank you for having your ass turned towards me. That's not nice at all. Did your mama teach you that? I'm your mama, by the way. Did I? Did... Okay. Moving on to Taurus. He's like, I'm just going to show up in front of the camera. I'm just going to sit on that side over there. Okay. And we'll respect that because you're a cat and you do whatever the fuck you want anyway. Let's see, Taurus. <clears throat> All right, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Swords. You want to work on a connection here. There's something deceptive in the middle of it all uh either the way you want to work on it or you may want to work on it but you're not telling anybody that you want to and there's two people in here i mean you could be like i really want to work on this but does the other person know kind of thing you know uh because there's a sense of deception in this for some reason uh, for this person here on this side, the world card, the lovers, the tower. Oops. Um, there's, uh, this person feels an ending here with you. However, they, they feel an ending. I don't, to be honest with you. Um, But it's like so severe and so it's like um, life changing kind of thing. The way they they feel this, like oh my god, this actually happened. This actually is ending, kind of deal, you know. Well, no. Not your ass. Um. It's, I don't know why it's coming so dramatic on their side. It's, it's being felt really, really harsh. On your side, it's like, no, it's not ended. I want to work on this, but not really doing anything about it. But they're like convinced that this is done. And it's, it's like the end of the world to this person kind of deal. Now for the connection, you get the two of wands the moon and the nine of cups there's no emotional stability here and that's what the two of you are waiting for the two of you are waiting it's kind of like there's this connection between the two of you but none of you are actually letting your yourselves feel it and it's like the both of you are kind of waiting for it to be felt again for it to be explored again kind of thing you know very weird reading for you, Taurus. Let's see. Um, let's see what the universe has. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So the Three of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Magician. Somebody's manifesting reconciliation here. Somebody's manifesting this to happen. Because I see you like in a, in a box ring, you're in that corner, they're in that corner. And it's like, I'm waiting for you to not to punch me, but to open up your heart. Well, I'm waiting for you to do the same thing kind of deal. And one of you is kind of thinking, hmm, I wish this could happen really, really intensely. And <clears throat> actually, the both of you are thinking that. But for some reason, you're not blending. You're not, you know. And the both of you are deceptive here. It's not just one. Um, it's like you don't want to. They don't want to. You don't want to kind of deal. It's very stuck kind of energy for some reason. All right. That's it, Taurus. Moving on to Virgo. Virgo. 
he's sitting in a very uncomfortable position on an upper shelf on top of some papers. But that's his spot. I took his spot. Yeah, I did. Because I wanted you here in this spot. See? Expectations. Let's see. Virgo, on your side, you get the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Judgment card. I almost said the Ten of Cups, the Marriage card, and the Judgment card. Um, there's That's beautiful energy that you have on your side. That That is a marriage for some of you. Um, it is a commitment for others. It's, um, it's a very transformative kind of relationship here that you have and you can feel it you can there there's that sense of happiness attached to it now i don't know if you feel that right now but like if you look at the bigger picture there's definitely happiness here to be attained and it's it's through this connection you're growing a lot you're learning a lot for them they get the king of swords the three of wands and the queen of swords Ooh, power couple it's kind of like they're waiting for the two of you to get on that same vibe, on that same kind of level energetically. Um, but it's a, it's not a, it's not a, I'm way up here and you're way down there and you got to catch up. It doesn't come in like that. It's kind of like this person is in the same flow with you, but it's like they're sensing that kind of a power couple dynamic that it's, it's like, a match and it's going to happen eventually when the two of you kind of vibrate at the exact same level kind of thing you know it's interesting they're definitely seeing you as a power couple here um the connection eight of pentacles seven of swords <laughs> temperance card um i feel like this is you to be honest with you where you want to transform you want to change you want to and you understand that through this connection you can do that uh, you may have times where you're like, but not today. I feel lazy today. We'll do it tomorrow. We'll change tomorrow. We'll transform the world tomorrow. Because today it's like, eh, you know, there's a sense of procrastination here, a sense of pulling away from the transformation that this brings, um, but not completely, just, just, just for the day, you know, kind of deal. Um, let's see what the universe has for you. I didn't anticipate that box being so comfy for him. He's sleeping on the box. Shoot. Uh, six of cups, eight of wands, two of swords. All right. So there's there's back and forth communication here. Um, in this commitment, in this connection, there's definitely a soul connection here. But there's a little bit of confusion, a little bit of... Um, especially when it comes to communication there might be a blockage like here and there there might there might be times where you're like oh what do i say now you know um i gotta choose what i say or whatever the case there's there's that sense to to the part of communication between the two of you at times it could be on your side it could be on their side i don't know you would know best but that's it virgo Moving on to fire signs, Aries. On your side, you get the Two of Wands, the Fool, and the Ace of Pentacles. You want to take a risk on something here or someone. There's definitely a... It, it kind of comes in like a, a crush little thing where you really, really like somebody and you want to go in. Um, like, 
it's brand new energy it's fresh energy you know that you're like yay i can't wait to get there kind of thing and it's been coming for a while now i feel like you've been waiting to take this action here um i don't know if you you're gonna do it necessarily but there is that sense of things building up to it like oh, i can't wait to do this kind of thing um now on their side they get the page of cups the three of pentacles the devil now I wouldn't have gone to this place where I'm gonna go to next, but it's because I saw this in the Page of Cups here, there's three people. And then I saw three people in this Three of Pentacles. And it's like, I don't go there usually, uh, like first, like uh, three party, but it does seem like this person may have somebody here on their side. You know, um, I don't know how healthy this whole dynamic is. This person definitely is attached to you here energetically also, but they might have something else on the side. Now, I, it does come in as love. It does come in as a love situation on their side, a commitment of some sort. But it's also, um, it, it could also be a collaboration in some way. Um, works, something, whatever. It, it looks like it's not necessarily healthy. Um, maybe the connection itself is not healthy. Maybe the fact that they're attached to you also is not healthy. Uh, could be as easy as that, as simple as that. Uh, for the connection, you get the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Star. There's definitely love. There's definitely you wanting one another. There's definitely that at stake. There's also a lot of disappointment in the middle there. <clears throat> which is telling me that there is an interference between the two of you at this time. It could be in the form of a person or another situation where this person is either too busy at work or you are or something's happening that's creating another energy between the two of you. Um, you know? Hmm. <clears throat> Let me see what the universe has. Six of Cups, Two of Wands, Seven of Cups. All right. It comes in as a possibility, as a, um, hmm. <clears throat> I'm intrigued about this. I'm curious about this. So I see it as something new, not necessarily an old kind of relationship, you know, could be. But I feel the energy of it as something new. Like I have this option or I can look in other directions for for this soul connection here um because you don't oh, you don't have only one soulmate so it's like yeah i can look someplace else kind of deal which is giving me again that sense of new of a possibility here for this so yeah that's um that's what i have for you aries <clears throat> Moving on to Leo. Macaroni. <laughs> Is that even a... Ah, doesn't matter. Um, on your side, Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups, King of Cups. Um, kind of like not looking at... This is the purest form of love here that's showing up for you with the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. That's emotional balance. That's love. Like, big-ass love. 
and you kind of have your back turned to it um not completely you're kind of looking back also kind of like hmm, i see you're there love but i'm gonna turn my back in this direction and i'm still looking at you there i'm still kind of watching you so you're not completely turned away from it but for some reason possibly in regards to a specific person you're you might say no to a situation <clears throat> for them they get the seven of wands the knight of cups the strength card Ooh. All right, so this person has a lot of emotions for you. However, they're standing strong. They're like, I don't want to show it. I don't want to give it to you. I don't I don't want you to see this, that I still feel these things for you. So they're kind of standing in their way there. They're kind of like, even though they're feeling certain things and powerful things, they may be like, no, I'm not going to show it for the connection, however. And that's just powerful beautiful energy the magician the ace of wands and the lovers somebody's definitely manifesting this love between the two of you one of you is i kind of feel like it's your person based on your back being turned um somebody's and manifesting just means they can't stop thinking about it and given that they're feeling what they're feeling and they're kind of trying to suppress that kind of makes sense as them um let's see what the universe has <clears throat> roles can be reversed do not forget that oh leo you have no idea here um ace of pentacles the hermit and the lovers the lovers twice really really um in such a short reading there's a very practical new beginning coming in this connection your way you may not expect it you may not see it it's very grounded and it's very real practical in the 3d kind of thing you're possibly going through this brand new beginning uh somehow or this person may be on their way with it to you but that's it leo why no i saw you i saw you in there all right moving on to saggy i really need to get myself new assistants these guys are awake for like two minutes when i start videos and then they're not assisting me at all you should be able to hear them snoring in a little bit fired fired and I love you. I love you. God, humans. Humans in their deceptive way. You're fired. I hate you. But I love you. Let's see, Saji. On your side, the chariot, the five of pentacles, the nine of pentacles uh you're possibly getting yourself ready to come out of a situation to come out of a relationship i feel like things are maybe happening faster than you want faster than you think you are coming out as somebody that's single and you know on their own here leaving a situation or the situation is leaving you, whatever the case. It's like, it's leaving you in... But, I mean, I don't see this as being... Oh my god, it's the end of the world. I have to be single now. And I actually see this pretty darn good for you. Maybe, maybe not feeling it that way right now. But on the long term, I see it benefiting you. Um, for them, the hangman, the judgment card, and the three of wands. This person is going through a massive, massive change right now. So I have no idea what's happening between the two of you, but this person is growing a lot and learning a lot and transforming a lot. 
um it's just a process it's not gonna happen overnight you're not gonna see this person you leaving today and tomorrow there'll be a brand new person nope it's gonna be a process long one for them for the connection the queen of swords the world the seven of wands no more resistance no more um suppressing what you feel um just somebody starting to speak up speak their truth could be you to be honest with you i see you doing that um i see them following but not just yet i feel like you're more snap snap kind of thing like it is what it is and i'll just say it um because there was a lot of somebody holding things down somebody holding things within you know not to offend anybody or not to no somebody is really starting to speak up here if it offends anybody not their business if you know just speak their truth and i feel like it's you um let's see let's um uh, not clarify Ooh, you almost got me there uh let's see what the universe has Two of Swords, the World card, the Four of Pentacles. Definitely an ending happening here in a situation that you're going through. There's there's a lot of thinking about it. There's a lot of ooh, stressing about it. Um, and there's a little bit of resistance towards letting this ending happen. Um, which makes sense with the, the overthinking here about it. Yeah. Uh, but it's happening regardless. So... The longer you hang on to it not happening, the worse it's going to get for you. So, that's it, Saji. <clears throat> Moving on to Air Signs, Aquarius. Right, so on your side you get the three of swords the uh, high priestess and the lovers um your intuition is telling you that this connection you're dealing with is very powerful very meaningful to you um however the fact of the matter is there's something hurting you about this connection so right now it's kind of like even though yes you know there's something strong here you're going through pain for some reason you're going through something very painful um and you're you're kind of insisting to hang on to that intuition of yours through all of this which is fine i don't see it as a problem i see it as yeah maybe you should maybe it, it's actually going to be helpful to you you know it's it might help you go through this pain i don't see it as a negative thing um for them they get the five of cups the um ace of pentacles and the fool Definitely regretting that they didn't take a chance in the past year with you. Uh, they might have wanted to. They might have messed it up. They might have who knows what. But there's regret to not taking a practical chance here with you on something. For the connection, the Four of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. There's that sense of things being done here between the two of you. Um, but there's still love on both sides. There's still, there's that sense of disappointment that things didn't work out that, you know, so I don't know who's bringing this in. It, it does seem to come more from your person than you. I, I feel like it's from the both of you. Um, there's still emotions here. There's still love in the situation on both sides. Let's see what the universe has. <clears throat> The Two of Cups, the Justice card, and the Moon. Things will get back on track here when it comes to the love between the two of you. It'll settle down somehow. 
I feel like it's actually starting to without the two of you even knowing somehow something some forces are bringing the two of you together um, because of the love that there's still here in this situation things will get straightened up somehow um, in the favor of this love but that's it Aquarius moving on to Libra <clears throat> On your side, the world, the wheel of fortune, and the fool. Um, it's like one day it's done, the next day, but I want it, you know, kind of deal. I feel like you've been in this energy for quite some time um, of letting this go and then. Um, waking up in a completely different energy of I really want this though you know kind of deal so there's definitely that sense of bouncing in between energies for you here if that's you that could be them um for the other side here you get the seven of swords the nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles wow what It's like somebody's um, kind of losing ground on their foundation, on their material world, on their, you know, when you're finding yourself out of job, out of house, out of anything, you have nothing left of the world that you know, the world that you knew, the world that you created for yourself is gone, completely gone. Uh, all of a sudden it's like one of those things where this person's foundation is being completely shaken up for some reason um they're losing their grasp they're they're losing their control over their material world you know over what provides them with stability here for the connection you get the ten of swords the page of pentacles and the high priestess even though there is a sense of, oh my God, this is done. There's still hope. Somebody's still hanging on to hope here. And I feel like it's you, to be honest with you. Because um, you have that kind of the same kind of energy on your side where things are done. Things are looking to be done. But your intuition is telling you, well, let's keep going. Let's see what happens. Let's keep going with this kind of thing. Let's see what the universe has. King of Swords, the Magician, the Six of Pentacles. All right, so somebody is trying to manifest stability here in this connection. Um, <clears throat> and it's very determined to make that happen. And I feel like that's you. Um, I'm a little like, yeah, I'm not saying that this is not going to happen because the manifestation of it is beautiful. I don't see it happening right now. This person is going through a major, major struggle. Um currently which not much anybody can do to help them they have to help themselves here um yeah very different energies with the two of you right now that's not gonna bring the two of you together right now that doesn't mean it's never gonna happen because again the manifestation for it is beautiful um but that's it Libra, moving on to Gemini. <clears throat>
All right. Um, on your side, the Two of Swords, the Queen of uh, Pentacles, and the Lovers. I'm not really sure there's there's indecision here on your side, and I'm not really sure what about, because I see your energy being very strong, very confident when it comes to a connection, a specific connection. You know what the deal is. is. You know what's up with this connection. You know how you feel about it. You're you're very grounded in this connection in terms of how you feel about it. But there's a, a, a side of you that's being like, I don't know what to do about it. And I'm not sure where that's coming from here, given that the energy of stability within this connection, especially emotional stability, is very clear to me here. But anyways, yeah, there's there's confusion on your side on what to do about this connection. On their side, they get the Three of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. This person is kind of waiting for these things to happen here. Passion, love everything like let's get going because it's here let's work on this let's make it happen kind of deal but i feel like it's not happening possibly because of it, your confusion and that's actually hurting them a lot like this thing's not happening because they're kind of supposed to uh for the connection you get the three of wands the seven of swords and the wheel of fortune <clears throat> um there's a sense of just dropping this overall, dropping this connection overall. Um, at times you may be feeling that, especially when you find yourself in the Two of Swords. <clears throat> Get the hell out of my throat. Um, it feels like the longer you wait, the more tempted you are to be like, eh, not worth it anymore. But then things change. Something happens where your energy is completely changing. Like, but I, because again, this energy is very clear on how you feel about this connection. It's very strong within you. So it's like the minute you want to step out that door, this energy keeps pulling you back. Like, where do you think you're going, Jonah? And you're letting your head run the show and be like, out the door I go. And then the energy is like, no, 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 in the door you go, you know, kind of deal. So it's like this continuous play. Um with that freaking door because of this connection. Let's see, um, let's see what the universe has for you. Five of Cups, the Magician, the Seven of Swords. Thinking too much of the past there, are we? What happened in the past? They did this to me. They did that to me. They did this to... Not to me, because I'm not going to be a victim. But they did this and they hurt me. Ah. Um, holding on to the past. Somebody's doing that. A lot. Somebody's doing a lot of that. And because of that, this tendency to be like, I don't want this. It's here. Duh. Who the hell wants something that happened from the past? Especially if it hurts, hurt us. But then again, you're not in the past, are you? You know, you're here, present. Different kind of stuff happening around here in the present versus the past. Because if you keep repeating that story, oh yeah, it's going to happen again and again and again and again. So, I don't know who, but somebody's hanging on to the past here. But that's it, Gemini. Moving on to water signs, Cancer. your side the emperor in reverse the wheel of fortune the seven of swords <clears throat> um this energy that you're finding yourself in right now might not be the best to make choices to make decisions um and i feel like your are 
you're kind of changing your mind very, very fast. Um, you may not be so grounded. You may not be so feeling so empowered at this time. And based on that, you may have the tendency to, when that happens, when we're not grounded, when we're not really feeling ourselves and feeling empowered, um, a sense of fear kind of creeps in without us even knowing. And when that creeps in, we're like, I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of everything because why would I hang on to anything? Because I don't need anything. Because I'm so you might have the sense here to to the, the the tendency to turn your back to a situation that's actually it may be good for you, um, but you're not seeing it that way at this time because of your energy, because the energy that this person is coming in with, who beautiful, you may not see it that way. And again, might be because of you, not because of them. Because um, something, it's like you're you're flipping the page very, very fast. You know, kind of deal. Uh, of course, this could be them. I don't know. On their side, the sun, the fool, the star. You know, beautiful freaking energy. This person wants this with you. They find this connection to, to bring them happiness. They would do this in a... In a in a split second, if it were up to them, come towards you and have this with you, this connection. For the connection, you get the Judgment card, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're going through a change right now through uh, digging through yourself, possibly, and that's actually bringing up a lot of uh, icky stuff, which happens to all of us at some point. Most of the times we don't realize we're in this energy and we blame it on others. Uh, when we find ourselves pointing the finger at everything around us, that should be a signal for us, you know? Um, and that's actually someone that's going through changes here. <sighs> they keep having their guard up. They keep wanting not to go through this. Um, they're pre being pretty stubborn to what the universe is bringing to them. Like, you need to change. No, I don't. You need to change. No, I don't. You need to change. No, I don't. Well, the universe is not going to give up um, until this person lets their guard down. So whoever this is, and it kind of falls in alignment here with you. You know, again, roles can be reversed. Do not forget that part. Let me... Um, Take a look at the universe here. Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody's really, really down in a very low kind of energy. Uh, very disappointed about everything. Keeping people at a distance. Keeping things at a distance. Nothing's coming towards them because they're not putting out anything positive. Let's just put it that way. The universe is always responding. The energy that you put out, something's coming back in. If you're in this kind of mopey kind of, you're not really giving much energy, just the crappy one. And some people don't even give that. They hold it to themselves. They're like, I'm just going to be mopey and I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to be upset with the whole world. Nothing positive is necessarily going to happen out of that, is it? You know? So... It's okay. It's again, you're going through a change possibly. So it happens, it happens to the best of us. Um, moving on to Scorpio. Oh, 
Uh, on your side, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Judgment card, and the Page of Cups. Um, there is love here being expressed, possibly. There is um, there's definitely a change you're going through. Major, major transformation, which you're starting to dig. I feel like... Um, a lot of the times when we're starting to experience these changes in our lives and we see that we need to do things in a different way and that means looking at us and then changing and then ah you know kind of deal it, it it sucks it just sucks the process of it just sucks but then at some point you get to that little little um crack in the wall where you're like hmm this is actually nice you know and i feel like you're in there you're like you're kind of digging the change. Let's just put it that way. You're starting to. Because it opens you up more and more. It's like... <clears throat> love is starting to be expressed more. Your emotions are more there on the table. And it's starting to just feel good. Uh, for them. The King of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. Alright. This person is... Um, I, I feel like through your going through your thing um you're kind of helping them keeping that heart open keeping that love open that flow coming you know because i feel like they're kind of walking away from all of this confusion like do i love you do i not love you uh, uh you can't think about love you just feel it you know um uh, recently i've gone through discovering like this i had this big aha moment about Somebody saying, um, I'm starting to fall in love. I'm like, what is that? Starting to. Or do you love or not? This person, the situation, whatever the case. Can you look into your heart and see what it feels about it? What do you mean starting to? So the, the love has degrees of do you love or not? Is it there or is it not there? Do you feel it? Because if you're putting time on it, like I'm starting to, you know. Is it or is it not kind of thing? And I feel like this person is kind of going through that kind of abandoning that thought pattern about it. Like, what do I do about it? Do I love them Scorpio or do I not? You know, kind of deal. I do see love there. And they might start to realize it too. Um, for the connection, the Hierophant, the two of, uh, two of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Definitely love here between the two of you. This could be a marriage. I feel like things are starting to look better, to feel better. There's still some heaviness here that needs to be removed. There's still that. It almost feels like the two of you are stepping into this new thing called love. And it's uncomfortable because a lot of people take their crap with it, you know, with them into a situation. And they're not experiencing it only through the means of love. When two people get to do that, it becomes heavy. It becomes uncomfortable. It's like, uh, do I sit here and love and that's it? I don't bring my crap with me? What's that about? You know? So it kind of feels like that. I feel like you're heading in this place of only love. Let's see what the universe has. <laughs> but there's fear. There's fear of rejection. There's fear of abandonment. There's this on the table right now. It's like, do I do it? Do I open up to this and just experience love? And then good old thoughts come in and are like, what if they leave me? What if it's not going to happen? What if, what if, what if? It's just about this. That's all there is to it. Now, of course, you can control the other person and how they're going to feel and how they're going to think, especially. Um, but you can do your part in it. And I promise you it'll somehow influence them in that direction. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Moving on to Pisces.
on your side the star the page of cups and the moon now that's your energy right there i feel like you have a wish in regards to a person a situation something about a expressing of your love here um you're holding it a secret though you're not really expressive about it but you want to be but you're not um kind of keeping it to yourself so it's like one of those things i like this person i'm not going to tell anybody not even your best friend no nobody needs to know about this so it's kind of like one of those things that's shown up here on your side um for them the six of pentacles the knight of cups and the three of pentacles uh all right this person seems to be out there in the world um possibly collaborating with a lot of people sharing their energy which is beautiful energy um i don't even it, it's like it's like you have a crush pisces it's coming in like that and, and at the same time it kind of looks like if you actually are with this person or have known this person for a very long time you may be in this energy of seeing them with different eyes feeling different things about them new things better things positive things you know it comes in so fresh so new um for the connection Two of Wands, Page of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Uh, you're, you're not acting necessarily upon this because you're scared you're going to ruin it kind of thing. You know, one of those things where you're like, I'm better off living in the shadows here and actually feeling this experience without actually creating it and bringing it to reality. Um, it makes me happier this way because if I do go at it, I'll, who knows what I'll do here. I'll fuck it up, kind of thing. Somebody's scared to fuck it up. If they act. So they're kind of sitting there in this energy of just waiting. Just living with this possibly as a secret. But yeah, let's, um, let's see what the universe has. Strength card, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. All right, so whoever's waiting here uh, is not just waiting. They're actually trying to build the courage to do something about the situation, to take action towards this. Um, there's definitely that fear that uh, they're going to fuck it up, that they're not going to be up to the other person's standards or whatever the case. But they're definitely working on building up their courage to do something about it. So... Hold on. Oh, these sneezes. I, I hate them when they come in and they're, then they're like, bye, just fucking with you. You know, that's not nice sneezes all over the world. You don't fuck with people like that. Uh, but yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Um, sorry, I held you for the last bit, but um but yeah that's uh that's it done with everybody right right yeah so last rating here again do not get used to the next place because it's temporary um i don't even know where we're going but uh it's cool living life this way it's like do you know if you have that if you have that if you, i guess i'll see when i get there that's just i mean Where's the surprise in it all if you look it up like that? Does it have this, that, the other? I don't know. I just don't function like that. But yeah, um, that's it for this room. Say goodbye. Bye-bye, room. Bye-bye, room. And see you next time. Bye.